Mohammed Naim's mother rubs ointment on his bruises. The 35-year-old says he was attacked by a group of men when he was out selling vegetables on his cart. After asking my name, they said, you're a Muslim, you've destroyed the country, you've spread coronavirus, and then started beating me with sticks. There were five or six of them. Community leaders in the Dadri neighborhood of Uttar Pradesh state told Al Jazeera that Muslims have been harassed and attacked since a gathering of Islamic preachers in Delhi led to a rise in the number of coronavirus cases. Hazi Saladin's car window was broken in the middle of the night. He says he'd been receiving phone calls from relatives telling him about rumors that his son attended the event in Delhi. Rumors are being spread around that the coronavirus is being spread by the Jamaat. Police are investigating the incidents. They are just some of the attacks on Muslims around the country. Analysts say that while other groups have broken lockdown rules, Muslims are being targeted. It's a clear case of Islamophobia. Islam is being said to be responsible for having motivated these people to go and infect uh, a predominantly Hindu country. That is the kind of narrative which has been built. Soon after 2,000 people were moved from the headquarters of Tablighi Jamaat, the group that organized the gathering in Delhi in late March, many media outlets blamed it for the spread of the coronavirus. 50% of all the cases across India in the last one week are only and only because of the Tablighi Jamaat markers. So who are these people? Television channels and social media showed fake videos of Muslims breaking lockdown guidelines and social distancing norms. Hashtags such as Corona Jihad and Corona Terrorism began to trend on Twitter. Earlier this week, a legislator from the governing Bharatiya Janta Party told his constituents not to buy vegetables from Muslim vendors. Muslim vegetable vendors are spitting on the vegetables, putting saliva on them and then selling the vegetables. So I told them that we can't do much about that, but don't buy vegetables from them. Mohammed Naim said he abandoned his cart and ran away from his attackers. I'll have to do something to survive, but I can't go back there. What's the use? They might beat me again. The father of four is the family's only earning member. The U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom has called India a country of particular concern since the Hindu nationalist BJP was re-elected last year. India has rejected the report, but the U.S. body is just the latest to criticize the government here for its treatment of Muslims. Last week, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation asked India to take urgent action against what it calls the growing tide of Islamophobia in the country. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.